Hello everyone, I'm the Nubist and you're watching the Nubist Colony. Um, today I figured I would post another video tutorial for the game Skyrim. Uh, this one is not going to involve gameplay or questing or anything like that. Rather it is going to focus on the Nexus mod manager that is now available from SkyrimNexus.com. Very nice tool to have. Makes uh, managing your mods for the game really easy and pretty much automatic. Uh, you can <coughs> download them here through the download manager. Uh, basically if you go to a link on the website you can click download using the manager it'll pop up in here um, and once it's done it'll automatically install them and you can toggle on and off uh, you can delete and remove that sort of stuff. Um, it's a very nice tool to have. I highly recommend you start using it. Uh, it'll make um, managing mods that much easier when you're 200 or plus mods in uh, after the creation kits released. Um, <clears throat> however, here's what was not so clear and easy to do, or to figure out rather. Um, so you can launch the game from within the Nexus Mod Manager, which is really nice. There's a button here. Uh, you'll see see where I have it highlighted, um, Launch Custom Skyrim. You also have the option of uh, launching Skyrim there. <coughs> um, so basically launching within makes it easier but if you launch Skyrim it's not going to allow you to launch the 4 gigabyte uh, large address aware patched version nor will it allow you to put the uh, borderless window version uh, launch that as well <coughs> so uh, I figured you know what the heck I'll look around and see if I can't figure out how to do that because I don't want to play the vanilla version I want to use the more me the more memory since I have it in my computer uh, I wasn't able to find it specifically however somebody was posting about a command they typed in that allowed them to use the um, borderless window option which I figured would work the same way and it does for the large address aware patch uh, version. Um, one thing to know is that in order for it to work uh, you can see here I'm in my um, Steam folder under the Skyrim directory um, and I have that 4 gigabyte patch right in with the vanilla version from Bethesda they're in the same folder if you don't have it in that folder it will not work uh, end of story so make sure you have that in the same folder uh, then all you have to do is click on the settings tab go over to Skyrim and you type in the name of the file or the executable um, in this case it is you know the title is Skyrim 4gb.exe you don't need the .exe just put in Skyrim 4GB and hit OK um, <clears throat> that'll that'll do it uh, basically it, once you click launch custom Skyrim it'll launch that f that file uh, allowing you to uh, unlock that extra memory and you can just click from right in here uh, like I said um, the other person on the forums that was talking about doing this for the borderless window uh, boot uh, it got it to work no problem so I'm sure any other mods that you're using that require a actual um, separate file on boot uh, you can probably type in the executables name and it'll do the same thing um, and that pretty much does it for today uh, thanks for watching I'm the Nubist and you're watching the Nubist Colony